Automotive Safety and Assessment Engineering Research Center. Road traffic accidents can result from several factors. The accidents in urban areas tend to be less severe and cause less damage than those occurring in rural areas. According to the traffic accident statistics, the average number of people killed, seriously injured, and slightly injured in each car crash is 0.42, 0.9, and 2.69, respectively. The Department of Highways estimated that the cost of accidents was 2.3 million baht per crash. There are 3,500 to 4,000 accidents that occur each year, which accounts for the total accident cost of no less than 8 to 9 billion baht per annum or 2.55% of GDP. However, the major factors for causing accidents are the poor condition of the vehicle, disrepair of automotive equipment, and endurance problems of the vehicle's body structure, which can lead to death and or injuries of the passenger. Thailand is one of the top automotive manufacturers in the Asian region. Many leading international automotive companies have established their manufacturing base in Thailand. The production process and safety equipment are controlled and determined by the automotive companies according to the direction of consumer marketing. The quality of vehicles produced for domestic use and export is varied based on basic knowledge of safety, consumer safety, and regulations that derive from the engineering and consumer research of each country. Therefore, the knowledge about the quality and safety of vehicles is limited to only the automotive companies. Moreover, the knowledge about automotive safety and assessment relative to the road traffic accidents is still not taken into account by the government sector in Thailand. King Mongkut's University of Technology North Bangkok foresees these problems and places importance on finding the solution to reduce the loss that may occur and providing the consumers in Thailand with research studies, academic services, and helpful knowledge relevant to automotive safety. The Science and Technology Research Institute was assigned to carry out the establishment of the Automotive Safety and Assessment Engineering Research Center in order to conduct the research activities and academic services, as well as transfer the automotive safety and assessment knowledge to the public. One of our research uh, work from automotive safety and assessment engineering is uh, to design the bus structure and design the uh, testing machine for bus structure. This one we uh, follow of the regulation, ECE regulation R66 and we develop the testing machine for Department of Land Transport. For Department of Land Transport, they can use this machine to do some assessment of the bus structure and this research we also develop the standard bus structure for single deck and double deck so the concept of this testing machine try to tilting until they falling and collapse impact the main structure not going to penetrate to the safety area this is a safety area try to represent of the uh, safety of the occupant or passenger so if the structure is collapsed, once they start to roll over, collapse, penetrated to the safety area, so that the, they, they will not uh, pass the regulation. So this regulation or testing machine, it's going to implement in Department of Land Transport in Thailand. So I hope that for the, our research work from automotive safety and assessment engineering uh, can be uh, one part 
of the uh, research in Thailand to support and enhance of the safety of the public bus transportation in Thailand. Okay, one of our research uh, of research center from automotive safety and assessment engineering is uh, to 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 declare to show to the public people to understand about the risk injury of the motorcycle user from the children. Children normal they sit to the into the motorcycle for transportation to go to the school. They normal allow the student to sit in front of the rider or sit at the back of the rider, but no one know that how the dangerous for that, how risk of injury is happened. So we conduct the experimental test uh, to conduct two experimental. First, the student sit in front of the rider. The second one, the student sit into the back. We use uh, automotive dummy for child dummy. You can see that from this one, it's like this one, the child dummy. But we install the sensor into the head and we conduct the experimental test. From the experimental, we, uh, from the result, we see that both of the uh, sitting poster into the motorcycle of the children, they have subjected to the uh, fatality. Both of them, the uh, injury, uh, the children in front and in the back, both of them, uh, they found that uh, it's not suitable for the children to sit into the motorcycle. So that uh, innovation of, uh, for the product to have the motorcycle seat into the motorcycle, that it would be better for the, uh, for the family is from the middle income and low income from the family who can afford to buy the product to reduce the uh, risk injury from the fatality to uh, less uh, injury if they have accident happen. So this is this kind of the research or innovation. This is a key of our uh, work to do of the research, automotive safety and research center. One of our uh, automotive safety and assessment research center is to support academic service to the public people and even to the government organization. Uh, government organization, so we have the one uh, service to, to the police department to do conduct the accident reconstruction. So we try to use equipment like this. This one equipment from the automotive uh, industry try to install to the car, conduct the testing and identify the braking distance uh, to try to reconstruct. The result from the, this uh, device we give uh, to the police department as evidence uh, for analysis to identify what happened to the case. So this is a part of our academic service to the police department. Apart from that, we use equipment to the court also. Uh, try to compromise what happened to the car manufacturing and the user. So the user, they have some problem with the transmission. So we try to support them in terms of engineering. Uh, we use equipment installed to the car as a benchmark compared to the standard. And the result, we found that uh, as a Engineering, we can use this device to identify what happened to that car, customer car, and what happened to the manufacturing. Because to do some assessment, this is a key for automotive safety and assessment engineering. So we use this one, uh, conduct the testing in the test track in Prajinburi campus, and we give them the technical report, show to them what happened. This is our activity of uh, automotive safety and uh, assessment engineering research center in King Mongkut University Technology, North Bangkok. One of our research, uh, automotive safety and assessment engineering uh, research center is try to educate the people 
educate the people outside the class, the people who want to understand, no need to go to the class to join the study. We give the educated people outside the classroom. So that just like the one example, we do some seminar, uh, educate the people and give the book. This book, we do some translation, the result of the automotive safety, the road user can have an option of all the detail. They have a result from uh, automotive safety, uh, conduct the testing to do some assessment. This uh, assessment based on international standard. We conduct the testing and at the speed of the 64 km per hour and we use the dummy. This dummy try to represent uh, the human being. You can see that the human being uh, based on the skeleton. Sometimes the human is tolerant, it's different from the one people to another people. We use standard uh, to represent the human body. So like a head, they can subject it to the deceleration to the limit or the chest and pelvis. Pelvis and leg, they have a different result from conducted testing. So we use the dummy try to represent to the car, to the car, to the to conduct the crash test, and we use uh, the dummy for the children sit into the child seat and conduct the testing at the same condition, same speed, same condition, and the result based on the dummy can be subjected to less injury. So this kind of like uh, uh, information from the experimental test. We can give it to information to the book. You can get uh, latest information to the website of uh, King Mongkut University of Technology, North Bangkok, or information from our research uh, center from the automotive safety and assessment engineering. So I hope that uh, this kind of information, we can give you the knowledge, information, and the uh, message to the road user to understand that how to reduce the injury, to reduce the accident, to mitigate the injury or accident, what happened, and we can choose the safer car for the people. I hope that this is the message can go to any Thai people understand more uh, about the vehicle safety and can be the one of activity of our research center also. Thank you. The Automotive Safety and Assessment Engineering Research Center, Department of Mechanical and Process Engineering, Sidin Torn International Thai German Graduate School of Engineering, aims to achieve excellence in automotive safety and assessment engineering. It helps analyze the current automotive problems for the consumers and deal with both the manufacturers and the consumers in an automotive assessment process. The Automotive Safety and Assessment Engineering Research Center is exceptionally recognized by local and international organizations as the creator of automotive engineering innovation for everyone's road safety.